Hi guys and welcome to another video of mine. So today it is a very special day and um, a very exciting yet terrifying day. <laughs> Uh, today is the day where I am going to remove all my non-cruelty-free makeup and makeup brands, pretty much. Um, in here, I have pretty much all of my makeup. It is so full right now just because I usually have makeup laying around like all over my apartment. But I just stuffed everything in there just because of this video so I can see everything more clearly. Uh, I do have to uh, make a note that I still have like hair products, uh, hair dyes and stuff like that, skincare that are not cruelty free, but that is a problem for another day. <laughs> Let's just be proud of what I'm doing today with my makeup because makeup is my most used beauty product. So it's actually a great thing I'm doing. Ah. <laughs> it feels like I'm making myself look like a hero or whatever. I'm not. I'm not. But I'm very excited about this. Another note that I'm going to include here in the beginning is something that a lot of you guys asked me about in my last video where I talked about doing this video. I will not throw away all of these products. I will either give it away to friends or family or if I haven't opened the product or used it, I will donate it if I can. Um, and the rest I will probably use up myself. So um, I will use it for an everyday, just not for photos or videos, pretty much. So I won't throw anything away if it's not like old or whatever or gross. That is all I had to say before we start this video, I think. Alright, so here's the drawer and right over here I have a bag that I will put all of the makeup that I will uh, remove. So here is the non-cruelty free box. <laughs> and I also have, with your help and also some vlogs that I can link uh, down below and PETA. But I have a non-cruelty free and a yes, cruelty free <laughs> list where I have put like some makeup brands that I know that I have so I can look through that. Okay, let's start. You will gag when you see this. <laughs> um, did someone say a mess? Yes. <laughs> okay, this angle I think is good. All right, let's start. Let's just start with a brand that I know is and cruelty free and that is Benefit and Benefit was, is one of my favorite brands so that sucks so I have the powder the concealer the foundation that I just did a review on uh, the Hoola quickie stick powder I'll just put that there Okay, now that we have some things out of the way, let's start with the foundation drawer right here. Um, these ones are cruelty free, yay! Uh, also, NARS has just become non-cruelty free. They were cruelty free, but now they are not, which sucks because this is my favorite foundation. Isadora is cruelty free, Urban Decay is cruelty free, um, Makeup Store is cruelty free, and NYX is cruelty free. And here we have Revlon, let's see. Revlon is not cruelty free, so this will go. I think I also really need this just because I have so much shit, like I can't even use it up, so it's kind of good for me as well. Let's see, we have Makeup Forever, which is not cruelty free, which sucks because I love this. Um, Giorgio Armani isn't cruelty free, so that will go as well. Um, what do we have in here? We have another Revlon, because I love Revlon. Eden is cruelty free. Oh, this sucks. This so sucks. Makeup Forever HD, which I love. Isn't cruelty free. Boo. Let's see. 
We have Lumine, which is cruelty free. Um, what do we have in here? So much stuff. We have a lot of Capundi, another Makeup Forever HD, and that was all. So all of these foundations will have to go Alright, for concealer, Makeup Forever, at least this is almost out, so that's good. I have to throw this away. Um, these ones are cruelty free. Sephora isn't cruelty free, so that will have to go. Um, Models Own is cruelty free, so I will keep that. Uh, the ball. Is cruelty free great um, okay so I pretty much just have like Urban Decay, Kat Von D, the ball makeup store in here so pretty much all of these were cruelty free which makes me so happy yay uh, and this one is a sleek one and it is cruelty free okay let's go into this drawer Too Faced Ofra Ofra is cruelty free, yes. Oh, Makeup Forever. <laughs> Why Makeup Forever? <laughs> uh, NYX. Makeup Forever and Models Own. So the only two that I have to remove are these two from Makeup Forever. Then for the powders, I have Neve Cosmetics, which is my favorite. Like, honestly, if Neve Cosmetics wouldn't be cruelty free. I probably wouldn't have done this video and never went 100% cruelty free because this powder is my favorite thing in the entire world. So, yes. Never, never. Next. Make it forever, damn it. Isadora. Never, Nyx. Never. Fatty. Oh, I don't know if this is cruelty free. I will have to look it up. Sephora isn't cruelty free. And then we have these two from Makeup Forever as well. Okay, I can't find that it says that it's cruelty free anywhere. They say on their website that they do not test on animals, but it's very vague. So I will actually remove this as well, I think. And I will do more research after this video. So all of these powders will have to go. Then for the primers, Kat Von D, NYX, we have Emit, let's see, Emit is cruelty free, yay, some of my favorite, uh, this is actually one of my favorite, oh, this one is my favorite uh, primer from Emit and I'm so happy that they are cruelty free, Benefit is not cruelty free, which sucks, and not make it forever either. Number seven, I will have to look up also. Okay, so what I could Google, it's not 100% that they are cruelty free. They may sell their products in China. So I will give this away as well, together with these primers. All right, so the first drawer is done. So here we have Nabla, and I know that they are cruelty free and vegan. Here we have Kat Von D, which I know is cruelty free and some stuff are vegan, I think. And then we have Lime Crime that's vegan. Alright, so here we have Ofra, and Ofra are cruelty free. LA Splash is cruelty free. Gerard is cruelty free. Uh, Caked, I think is cruelty free. I will have to check it out. Um, this is a brand called Nuba and it's the weirdest thing. I can't find anything about the brand anywhere. So I don't think the brand is even like 
running anymore so i will give this away and also this is very very old uh we have the ball and ellie splash and Javon. these two here we have the brand kala that i will also have to check out because i'm not really sure Lace splash sugar pill is vegan and cruelty free i think 100 vegan i'm not 100 sure but i think so ofra model's own Smashbox is cruelty free. Uh, Anastasia or Anastasia is cruelty free. Sephora is not cruelty free, so this will have to go. I just checked, and these two are cruelty free, and Kate is also vegan. So this will be back in the drawer, would you? And Nuba and Sephora will have to go. Then in here we have a lot of the body shop that is cruelty free and for those of you that say that they are owned by L'Oreal I heard that they are not anymore so just so you guys know <laughs> Kala body shop one makeup forever that will have to go also by the way another note is that uh, even though some brands are owned by a like their mother mother company is it called that I think so like their mother company isn't cruelty free I still see the brand as cruelty free even if they are owned by a non cruelty free so yeah usually you guys know we have sleek that is cruelty free more sleek sleek never. And then we have three Sephora that will have to go. All right, so the Sephora and Make Forever will have to go. Then we have this drawer and this is Soeva and they are cruelty free. I think all of these are Soeva actually. Oh no, <laughs> damn it, I forgot about these. I have a lot of the Inglot liquid lipsticks and I actually heard from a blog that they cannot be seen as cruelty free anymore so I think I will have to remove these as well but I did hear that some of you say that these are cruelty free so if you know anything about that please tell me in the comment section and send me links uh, so I can know for sure because I think that they are cruelty free, it says so on PETA's website, but they may be sold in, sold in China, which I can't see as cruelty free. So if you know anything, please tell me in the comment section, but I will have to get rid of these, unfortunately. Until you say otherwise, if you do. <laughs> okay, so the Inglot will have to go. And the Makeup Academy I just checked and they are cruelty free as well. So I'll put these there and I have so many of these Soeva why am I not using these this is so good for me I will start using some stuff that I've not used in a long long time all right so that was this drawer and now get ready guys this is a mess oh my god <laughs> This gives me like anxiety just looking at it. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the mascaras. We have Sephora, non-cruelty free. Makeup Forever, non-cruelty free. We have uh, YSL, YSL, isn't cruelty free, so that will have to go. And Lancome isn't cruelty free. Even is. What is this even? Emit, cruelty free. Isadora. This one, Make a Forever. A tiny Make a Forever one. A tiny Sephora one. An even tinier Make a Forever one. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, this is so much stuff. Then we have this weird mascara that is from China, so not cruelty free, I guess. <laughs> I will throw it away. Um, whoops. 
another tiny Make a Forever one. Um, all right, and then we also have Elizabeth Arden. And what I've seen, Elizabeth Arden isn't cruelty free, so that will have to go as well with all of these. Okay, just because this drawer is like killing me, I will go through that first. Um, ah! We have a Sephora eyeliner. Um, Okay, oh my god. Okay, this is the uh, eyeliners, by the way, if I didn't say. NYX, Kat Von D, Urban K, NYX, Sephora, we'll have to go. The Ball, Makeup Forever, no, Makeup Store, I mean. NYX, 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 Sephora. So these are the eyeliners that I will uh, give away. Sephora's own. All right, and now the eyebrow drawer is also so full. So let's see what we have here. NYX and Anastasia. Benefits will have to go, unfortunately. Another benefits, benefits, benefits. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, well, Make It Forever also, I love this. Oh no. Uh, Makeup Forever, Nastasia. Uh, Makeup Forever, Makeup Forever, Nastasia, Isadora, Inglot. Oh, wait, wait. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> no, this is my favorite eyeliner in the entire world, and it's from Inglot. And I threw away the liquid lipsticks. Do I have to throw this away as well? No! <laughs> if you guys know anything about Inglot being cruelty free, please tell me because I really want to keep this. Okay, bye. But yeah, it will have to go. Oh no, the Inglot one. Ah! <laughs> Nabla is cruelty free. Sigma is cruelty free. Inglot, I guess not. Uh, Make it forever. I lore? Is that cruelty free? I will have to check that out if I lore is. Uh, but. That will have to go. This will have to go. The brow gal. I will have to check that out as well. NYX. The body shop. Uh, Anastasia. England. Another England. This one I love. <laughs> Benefits. Here's my other England one. Boo. I tell you. Benefit, we'll have to go. Another benefit. Nick. And Nick. All right, so all of my Inglot liners will have to go. And also all of these, which kills me. <laughs> and for Eyelor and Brow Gal, I cannot find that they are cruelty free, so these will have to go as well. All right, and in this drawer we have blushes, Sigma Makeup Store. Sephora will have to go. Uh, another pomade. I have a lot of Isadora ones, <laughs> so let's just take those out. Oh, and here two Make It Forever and one uh, Benefit Brow Products hit, so that will go. All right, so that was it. Not much in the blush drawer at all. Then we have a Benefit Dallas blush. We'll have to go. NYX, NYX, model's own is cruelty free, for star is, and some NYX, and that was it. So the only one was the benefit one. Okay, it's a little bit better in this drawer now, but I think I will have to remove some like 
old mascaras and old eyeliners because I'm still like it's too much here <laughs> but for cruelty free it is 100% in here now for this drawer I actually don't have that much in here anymore just because I very very rarely use regular lipstick so I don't have that much in here but let's see we have sugar pill which is cruelty free we have melt that is cruelty free uh, these are Armani K, Kat Von D, uh, these ones are collection, I will have to check that out because I'm not sure. Gerard is cruelty free, uh, nude sticks is cruelty free, and here we have Nava cruelty free, Blind Crime, Neve, Sleep is cruelty free, Makeup Store. Here is one Lonely Inglot lipstick that I will have to go. <laughs> Um, here we have a, what is this? Oh, a NARS one, so that will have to go as well. Collection seems to be cruelty free, so that will stay. But the Inglot and the beautiful NARS one will have to go. Okay, for this drawer, it is mostly Anastasia. But let's see, here is the Anastasia Trio blushes. But here are only the uh, Anastasia lip glosses. Anastasia liquid lipsticks. But here we have Benefits California and Hula Bronzer and Hula Light, which will have to go. Okay, I will sit down here. You see, you guys know. And then we unfortunately have a lot of the uh, Makeup Forever Artist Acrylip lip paints. That is not cruelty free. We also have a benefit lipstick here. We had to go. Then we also have a bunch of the Makeup Forever Starlit liquids that I absolutely love, but it will have to go. Then we have some sugar pill lipstick. We have some more glosses from Anastasia. And oh my god, I forgot about these. I have the Makeup Forever Water Blend Foundations that will have to go. So in this drawer, these two foundations and the Starlit Liquids and the lipstick will have to go. And now for the eyeliners. Let's see what we have here. We have LH Cosmetics, NYX, uh, Neve. We have Berry M that is cruelty free. Oh, only one uh, Makeup Forever Aqua XL eyeliner that will have to go. This is so weird <laughs> that I can see myself. Okay, next door. Okay, so here we have also like a bunch of stuff. <laughs> we first off have the Kat Von D powder that I will put in the powder drawer now. Now that I have some room. I have some lipsticks from NYX. Here we have a Viva La Diva that is cruelty free. We have one MAC lipstick that it will have to go. A beauty blender. That is cruelty free, by the way. Toothpaste, mix, a line prime. Let's put these in the lipstick drawer. Okay, but all of these are cruelty free. Then we have a lot of glitters. Uh, we have lit. Okay, so the battery died, so I had to charge it. But I'm back, and uh, here we have a bunch of makeup store glitters, which are cruelty free. Then we have Lime Crime, we have Medusa that is cruelty free, right? Yes. Um, lit that I just checked and they are cruelty free. Lipstick Queen, we have one lipstick that is cruelty free as well. And uh, Bella Pierre is cruelty free as well. Let's see in here, we have Eden, Makeup Store. You can't see, but it's a bunch of NYX products. Just here we have a bunch of cream colors, a bunch of Nablas, 
Uh, some pigments from Sugar Pill. Uh, I lower lashes. And here we have a bunch of the uh, Defa Cosmetics eyeshadows. And they are cruelty free. Here we have some Cafe D. We have NYX Primal Colors. And then a bunch of the Sugar Pill ones. And nothing else in there. Alright, so this drawer is just a mess. <laughs> Um, I just have like a bunch of stuff that I don't know where to put pretty much so let's see we have some sweet lashes oh my god are they cruelty free I'm not sure all I can google is that they are vegan but I can't find that they are cruelty free but uh, they must be right I will keep them but if you guys know anything then tell me but they can't be vegan and not cruelty free right I don't know we have the Airspun Loose Face Powder. This one is made in China, so not cruelty free. This will have to go. Sugar Pill Beauty Blenders. We have a Sephora Lip Balm. We'll have to go Wet n Wild. The Make a Forever uh, Jesse J collaboration. We'll have to go. Isadora, Buxom is cruelty free, and this is Sleek, this is Benefit, we'll have to go, Sephora, Kiss Me Gloss, we'll have to go, this one as well, and then we have Echo Tools, which is cruelty free, Isadora Makeup Store, an unopened Benefits Brow Wow Conditioning Primer, so this one I can probably donate. And here I have a bunch of NYX and a bunch of Makeup Forever, I see. Alright, so here are the Makeup Forever Starlet Powders that I actually didn't really love. I know that a lot of people love these, but I didn't, so... That will go in the bag. And a tiny Makeup Forever HD powder. And then there's just a bunch of NYX single eyeshadows. And some of the Lime Crime Metallic Valentines. Oh, this one was hiding. <laughs> I couldn't really see it. It's the Revlon Ultra HD Matte. And they are not cruelty free, so this will have to go. Bye bye. Alright, so I don't really know how to make this look better, but this will have to do. Alright, and here we have some palettes. Let's see, we have Anastasia. We have one that I made myself that is only makeup store shadows. This one is... Nabla. Okay, I'm not really sure when it stopped recording, but all of these are like NYX The Balm and Sugar Pill. BH. Too Faced, Cafe Never, Thick Scarlet, and all of them are cruelty free. Alright, here is another weird box in the bottom. Let's see, we have Sigma that is cruelty free. Uh, Anastasia, here I have a lip balm and a perfume. I'm not really counting that, so. And here is a, a brow pencil from Benefit. I was going to do an empties video, but I never did, so <laughs> let's just throw that away. And here I have some Inglot shadows, oh. together with like Nabla, Nyx, no, Nabla, Nyx, and Neve. So the only shadows that is Inglot is these four and these two. So I will take those out and give them away to someone. And there we go. Then we have Anastasia, Anastasia, uh, Nabla, Anastasia, Makeup Revolution that is cruelty free, right? Yes, they are. Soeva, NYX, Irma Decay, and a bunch of makeup store. And then in here we have Nabla, NYX, NYX. A Sephora one that I will throw away. Makeup Addiction that says cruelty free on it, so that will stay. 
then we have some more Inglot shadows. Uh, Wet and Wild. And another one for my empties. <laughs> uh, Wicked Lime Cry Velveteen. But I will just throw that away because I will never do that. And here I have a Slay All Day setting spray that is just the worst. So I will throw that away. <laughs> so that was it for my makeup drawer. Alright, so I actually have some other eyeshadow palettes over there. But the only one that wasn't cruelty free is the Huda Beauty one. Because I've heard that they are not cruelty free because they use mink in their lashes. So this will have to go as well. Alright, so this is all of my cruelty free makeup that I will get rid of. Look at it, it's so much. Right now I'm actually feeling very good about this decision still. Um, the only thing that I'm very sad about is the Inglot gel liners, to be honest. The other stuff is just like, yeah, but you know, it's for the best. But the gel liner from Inglot, I will miss so much. <laughs> Again, tell me if you know anything about them being cruelty free and also if you have any dupes that are similar, then tell me as well. So yeah, that was it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and please subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you guys are excited for me to only do cruelty free makeup videos now. I hope you have a great day and I hope we will see each other in my next video. Bye! <laughs>